As soon as I unlock the door to the apartment, I exhale, relieved. She's still here. I hear her voice coming from down the hall, saying goodbye to her mother on the phone. I wash my hands, rinse off my face, and put the kettle on. In other words, I'm postponing our confrontation. I'm nervous. Finally, I walk towards the bedroom and stop before she sees me through the Ikea bookshelves that separate the room from the hall. She's lying on her side on a white sheet, reading a book in her underwear. She takes a drag on her synthetic pot. She maneuvers her left foot through the air. A hip, hugged by a lacy thong. Her abdomen rises and falls, like peaks and valleys shimmering in the heat of summer. I long to wish this conflict between us out of existence. To transform into a tiny cowboy riding a tiny horse. To gallop across the landscape of her body. Blue 